Alive. <laughs> <laughs> still functioning, you said. They're still functioning. In normal parameters or something. I, a uh, while ago, had submitted a couple of poems. They didn't win, but Who I, I submitted poems for having them being displayed in Antarctica. Oh, because yes. I had a couple of poems about Antarctica. Yeah, you were there. And, and, and this was one of them. The, and it's just such a goofy little thing. And it's in the sun, I'm sharing it with you. And it's called Ocean's Call to Dive. Really cold. It wasn't cool, it was cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chill, baby. <laughs> the Gen 2 penguins run down the mountain to the rocky edge overlooking the southern ocean. They get into a single file line at the edge. One jumps in, and then another, and then another, <laughs> and then a dozen more. The last Gen 2 penguin in the line gets up to that edge after all the other penguins jump into the southern ocean. The last Gen 2 penguin rocks, steps back and forth on his feet in place, turns around, looks at the mountain, turns back toward the water, rocks once, steps in place twice, looks back again, and then he turns into the salt water and dives in. Yeah. I have to show you this photo because he's on the. He's on the Look at the showing off those photos of my little penguins. And that's in a picture frame that's up in my house now, which I really It's a big one, isn't it? It's a. Yeah. yeah. Frame we made for it. Yep. So what it's called, and it has nothing to do with Antarctica. <laughs> and it's called jumping, flying. When I took over the cockpit controls, I, I feared the airplane would fight me back and gravity would take me to a tumble. But the skies were sunny, the air was clear, and once my hands took over the job of piloting that plane, this behemoth seemed to purr like a kitten. And it was like I was six years old again riding a bike, because you never forget the feeling of holding onto the handlebars and giving yourself the power to take you wherever you want to go. <laughs> like a conductor, I directed that airplane above the clouds, seeing the winding streets below no wider than strands of hair. I wonder if I could see the Everglades from here. And you may ask, why did you do this? Well, because I can. <laughs> if I choose, I can take flight like a bird and touch the sky. <laughs> Once, once, I sat in an airplane that had no door, looked at the altimeter attached to my harness, and saw the craft rising over 17,000 feet, just about 500 feet to go, I think, and then my stomach starts to feel queasy, <laughs> but others are there to join me and even film it. Beforehand, I was told that if I was enjoying jumping out of an airplane, to do jazz hands for the cameraman. So I jumped, I fell, I couldn't breathe, but I didn't forget to do jazz hands, even though jazz hands in free fall look more like, well, oh, 125 miles an hour. That actually looks more like experimental dance or, <laughs> or convulsion. It's weird, <laughs> Plus, well, you know, just get over it, pull over the ripcord, see the view of the Rockies from above, and get a free beer from Left Hand to Ale Brewery for making that jump. And even the cameraman had asked me after I was done, what on earth were you doing? <laughs> and yeah, really, if you think about it, why on earth do I do all of this? Because I can. Because at every leap I take, I'll always land my feet and keep looking to the sky. Yeah, ser no, seriously, because I was doing that with jazz hands, so, and like, who's doing jazz hands? What? Like, you, you couldn't figure out what they're saying? I am going to read the last poem of my own from this book, and right after it is a bunch of yes or no poems from Tom, so I'm going to ask him to come up and just read however many he would like. All of them, I don't care. That'd be good, be whatever. This is a poem called, I'm Not Sick But I'm Not Well, Future Improvement Edit. 
I'm not sick, but I'm not well. And I'm sure there's something I can do about this. I'll pop the aspirin, the Tylenol, the ibuprofen, the codeine, the Prozac, the Vicodin, the Oxycontin, and these sleeping pills don't knock me out anymore. And that thermometer is down my throat and I'm gagging. I'm not sick, but I'm not well. The doctors can find nothing wrong with me. And believe me, they've taken the x-rays and they've stripped me down and made me wear one of those god-awful paper robes. And they put the probes on my head to monitor my brain. They've strapped me down, injected me with drugs till my veins and my arms were itching and screaming. It's like they shoved demons under my skin. I'll rip that needle out of my arm. I'll jump off that gurney. I'll try to break free because they always find what they're looking for, but they never find what I'm looking for. I'm not sick, but I'm not well, and I can't help but think that everything I'm doing to make things better might only be making things worse. So I don't want to listen to what you have to say anymore, and I want this IV out of my arm, and I want this oxygen tube out of my nose, and I want you to be free of your straitjacket, and I want you to get that scalpel away from me because I want everything I've got. I'm not sick, but I'm not well. And they want me if they can keep me in line. Maybe they can give me antidepressant medication so they can deplete my soul altogether. But they want to scan my brain, check my records so they can claim they need to correct me. They want, they want, to, they want me if they can actually keep me in line or if they can cut me open and take up my insects and suck up the fat and suck up the life and make me generic and make me dependent and make me unreal and make me not whole and I'm tired of walking that line with all of you doctors. And I want all my parts back. And I want to be healthy. No, I'm not sick and maybe I'm not well. But you're only making me worse. I don't have the answers, but neither do you. So instead of tearing me apart and dissecting me and studying the bones, why don't just let me stay together for a while until I figure it all out. Because we've all walked that line before, haven't we?